Hi guys, Stuck on Collectibles. My name is Brian. Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be a long one. We have quite a few stacks of uh, books and a big book. A big book. Sorry no figures this video. Sorry for not having a video for a while. School was just starting up. Um, my son got sick right before after we did the last video sorry you couldn't comment on that video but as you know with children on the video you can't make comments and that's the one thing he wanted to do before he went back to school is he wanted to be in one of my videos so I did that and in the future we'll probably do more with him in the videos something he wants to do down the road so yeah and some of the other announcements Starting this weekend, I'm going to start listing some comic books from sale on my Instagram page. I will list that down below. It's Brian Barrick, at Brian Barrick. So check them out. For, for, start with $2 books. Start cheap. Keep the shipping cheap. I'm trying to clear out some of the stuff here. I'm trying not to show too much in my room because it is a mess. I got comics that I've been going through that... I'm just not keeping. I've been buying too many comic books lately, and I have about 30 some series that I'm working on, but I have about 10 that I'm actively working on. Uh, the 10 active I'm working on is the Thundercats, the old series from Star and the new, the new Aven Avengers from 2005, but I want all the series of the new Avengers. Transformers, basically the new series. Uh, the Secret Def Defenders from 1993. I think that was like a 25 to 27 issue series. I think I got four issues so far. Babylon 5, I think that was 11 issues for the one series and a three issue miniseries afterwards. DC versus Vampires, I only got a few issues. Uh, Stargate Atlantis and Universe, both of those series. G.I. Joe, I'm basically trying to rebuild the old series. Star Trek, basically what I'm looking for for Star Trek is a lot of the miniseries and a lot of the old ones from the DC era. So, yeah, a lot of those are dollar bin books, except for the new stuff. But, uh... A lot of stuff you can find in these kinds of packs, so makes it easier to find. So, how's everybody doing? Everybody see uh, Deadpool Wolverine? Seen it twice. Loved it. Can't wait for it to come out on Blu-ray. I will have it when it comes out. So, and I have a visitor here. Here, you want to come say hi? Oh, are you gonna run off? You gonna run off? Our last remaining cat. She won't leave me alone. And I got a drink for this long occasion. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done a video, so it's a little noisy. I'm doing it during the day. Uh, basically, it's the only time I've had lately to do a video, so you might hear traffic. I live in a very small town. Uh, north of Harrisburg we're in a coal mining town so a lot of the big trucks going by are dump trucks with coal in it so so yeah if you're new to the video uh, like subscribe leave a comment on this one because no one really leaves comments um, subscribe we're about 50 at 50 subs right now so we're trying to get up to 100 once we do 100 we will do a giveaway and uh, like I said Instagram I'm gonna probably start this afternoon to see what we can do about getting some books on there so let's go through this first pack here now these first two packs I've had for about two weeks these are from a different Ollie's than I'm used to going to. We were out and about with family, so, and they didn't have much. 
And I don't know where people are finding all these new Marvel Legends at their ollies. Mine hasn't gotten anything new. Last night we stopped at one. They had the new Cersei and Black Knight. And there was only one there and it was open. So, yeah. I didn't get it. Or I would have got it. That's one that I would have got because I've never seen it in the stores. And for G.I. Joe Classifieds, for the two Walmarts we have in our area, no longer carry it. Garbage. And my Target never seems to keep them in stock. As soon as they get them in stock, they're gone. Apparently the one guy comes in and buys it all. So, I don't know. I'll tell you if I'm going to be keeping any of these or not. Okay, let's start the first one. We have Power Rangers 10, which I probably won't be keeping that. Sorry. I got set up a little bit different where the camera's a little bit farther away. Hope you guys can hear me. Okay, this I've never seen before. Captain Confederacy, number one. Okay. Never even heard of that. Uh, kind of, yeah, not be keeping that. Valiant, Ray, number six. Won't be keeping that either. Ooh, this one I'll keep. It's number 22, though. I think I have another one of these somewhere. The story was pretty good. This is Jennifer Blood, number 22. This one I'll keep. Maybe. If it's the one I think it is. So, I'm trying to separate them as I go through here. So, and this is one reason why I bought the pack. This is the New Avengers Annual 3. See, this is the reason why I buy these packs. I mean, most of the time you go to yard sales or something around here you might pay two or three three to five dollars for a single comic book so you pay five ninety nine you get five books six books sometimes and you might pick two or two books out so the rest of the stuff the rest of the time you don't so gambling I don't play the lottery so this is my form of gambling. Okay. Ah, oh, harder cardstock. This is Power Ranger Universe number one. Looks like a whole bunch of Red Rangers. Ooh, a Comico Elementals, number 25. Man, these used to litter the dollar bins a long time ago. I haven't seen any of these in a long time. When year did this come out? Like I said, this is going to be a long video. Eighty-eight. Wow. What issue was this? Twenty-five. I think I had a couple of these back in the day. Oh, jeez. Groomhaven, Fallen Lion. I swear I'm getting one of these about every other pack. I'm assuming this book did not sell. Enough talking about that book. Okay. 
Okay. Cover interest, man. Inside does not. Hmm. This is called decorum. Number one. Done by image. Pretty thick book. Uh, that cover looks nice though. And it is a wraparound. So. But. Uh, when you got like maps and stuff inside it. This looks weird. Looks like it's a manual for a game or something. Might give it a read though. But this is the reason why I bought this pack. Inspired by the hit TV series Shield number one. Don't know why. Probably because it was nothing else there. Don't get me wrong. I liked watching Shield for the first couple seasons. Then it kind of died on me. Alright, let's open the next bag. Because there's one I'm gonna save to the last because it was uh, an amazing find. Oh that's it. That's the one. Okay. I don't care what else is the rest. Okay. And they're making these bags harder to open. So how's everybody doing? What's everybody collecting nowadays? See, I don't edit my videos, so I'm sorry. If I had enough subscribers, I'd do this live, but I don't, so sorry again. Come on, really? It's almost like they put in a thick mylar of this kind of stuff, and it doesn't want to come out. Two out of this one already. This is the Defenders number two. Scott Snyder. This is Nocturna number 10. Don't know. Wow, this comes with a trading card. That's awesome. Got to be very careful with this one. This is a Twisted Season Black Orchid number seven. And as you can see, the trading card is still sealed. Swamp Thing. So I will set that aside. I'm not going to keep it. But that is cool. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even know they had a comic book. And this is a virgin. Ah. Sorry. Sons of Anarchy. Three of six. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Can't tell me you don't like that. This was a web exclu exclusive. Oh yeah. That, this was a nice pack. This was a nice pack. I originally bought it for this. This was a uh, new Fantastic Four number five. You know, where Wolverine, Spider-Man, Hulk, all them join forces, but they still have the Fantastic Four on this one. When it comes to the bigger titles, if I could complete any of the series, I know a lot of people go for like the X-Men. Mine would be the Fantastic Four and the Avengers. I don't know. Um, back before I sold most of my collection off in the early 20 teens, I had more Avengers and X-Men than I did Fantastic Four, but one of the earlier ones that I started collecting was Fantastic Four and the Avengers. Then I got into X-Men. But then one of the shops I went to when I was growing up, I could get X-Men cheaper So than I could the other one. So when it came to the older issues, so that's how that worked out. I mean, I got X-Men 141 for, I think it was $12.00. Back in early 2000. So. And it was in mint shape. It was in great shape. Now. I I picked this up because I watched. I have the cartoon. I watched it originally when it came out and stuff like that. And I had the original run of the series when it came out. But this is Wildcats number four. Don't know if I'll save it or rebuild it or save this series because I don't have the original series anymore, but we'll see. First comics. Elric? The Vanishing Tower? Came out in the 88. Elric, the Vanishing Tower? Looks like some sort of D&D type thing. Played D&D as a kid. Don't know if I have interest in the comic book, but there you go. Aphrodite V. An image. Number one. I'm thinking it's after Aphrodite five. I think there was a different Aphrodite that I read at one time. Pretty cool. Uh, Gloomhaven. I think that's going to be one of those throwaway books that I give away and when I list on uh, Instagram, you buy a couple books, there'll be a couple throwaways in there, and this will probably be one of them. This was the other book I pulled out. Star Wars number 19 from Marvel. Now, excuse me a second. Get down. Get down. Uh, we got three more packs. Yesterday when I went to Ollie's, they must have just stacked these packs because 
they had a bunch and I found one on a series that I had a lot at one time and it's a very hard series to even find much less um, complete nowadays and I found I think three so far in these comic packs being the third one here okay it's in the next pack not this one this is Superman the Man of Steel 37 this has uh, the DC Universe logo on it I don't know if that means anything it's got many Batman but you see it has the DC logo I hear people talking about that, so I don't know if that means anything. I will not be keeping that. Devil do comics. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. This 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 looks like just something they just threw in there. That's uh, yeah. That's what it's called. That shouldn't even be in the pack. Mage number two. Gloomhaven, Paul Ryan. And I picked it up for this because it's a virgin variant. Now normally I have no problem reselling these. This is Power Rangers number 11. Came out 2021, virgin variant Power Rangers. Yeah, there was nothing really in there I was going to keep. It was just, uh, I do buy every once in a while just to list on my eBay page, but it may end up on Instagram. Who knows? Just because the first ones are going to be $2, I don't mean they're all going to be $2. So, this next pack is a little difficult to open. It does not want to cut. And now I've got animals all around me. Alright. That's it. I'm going to save the one I wanted to see in here for last. So, we got another one of these garbage. We got Superman 197. My wife's watching TV, so I don't need anybody hearing all that kind of stuff, so. Black Cloud number two. Who's that from? Future Comics. Hmm. 
one by image. That did new. Oh, first issue dynamite. This is John Carter, Warlord of Mars. That one I will keep. That one I will keep. And I like the advertisement on the back. Ash in space. <laughs> no, but this is the reason why I bought it. Is it mint? No. Is it tanned? Yes. Am I keeping it? Yes. You can see the back is kind of tanned. The corner is kind of a little ruffled. But this is V, number seven, trapped. These things are hard to find, especially even in good shape. Back in the day when it came out, I was missing one issue, and I don't remember what issue it was. And I could never find it, even back then. Now, suddenly, they're showing up in these comic packs, so somehow they're showing up somewhere, so. I will keep it. For me, condition of the pack, of the book, if I want it bad enough, I'm okay with it. Which should come evidence with this last one, because... This last book, this last pack, has a comic book in. Um, to me, it shouldn't even be in one of these packs, but it is. So I'm going to be very careful opening this one up because I do not want it any worse for wear than it probably already is. Complimentary copy. Whatever that means, it will complimentary stay in my collection. Okay. That'd be the last one we should. So, from Omni Press, we have a Rick and Morty, number 47. Never really got into watching Rick and Morty. I'm sorry. Ronin Island, number 3. Porcelain, number three. Hmm. Looks weird. Okay. And another Groomhaven. But this book, this book, okay, I want to see if it shows a year. This last book that was in here came out in 1970. And believe it or not, I don't care if it's not worth anything at all. This is not in bad shape. Uh, this is high mid. This is high, high grade for me. Came out January. 1970. This is volume 2, number 73 of Beetle Bailey. Charleston Comics. And that was in this pack. That was the only Charleston comic they had. Because if they had more, I would have freaking picked it up. And Wow. 
to me that was a fine I don't care what anybody says it's got that little, little bit of damage down there in the corner to me that could probably be pressed because it doesn't break color might be a tick one right there that breaks color all in all I'd say it's probably about at least in the sevens I'm good with that now we're already at the 30 mark and I said we got a big book now that depends on what your definition of the big book I did not try to fool anybody but we got a big book now I don't mean an expensive book because I paid 30 bucks for this thing and it's a big book it's a big book well, we got an omnibus from Ollie's. It was the last one they had. They had this and they had a Doctor Strange. And this is Rise of the Sith Legends Star Wars. So this covers, let's see if I can read this and they have dark here. Uh, dark Side 1, one through 5. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. So it's both basically the prequels. And so for 30 bucks, see, on the back it says 125. They had Doctor Strange, but it was a new Doctor Strange, and if it was the old Doctor Strange, I would have got that one. Two, but it was not. But this was the big book. And I do mean big book. So Sorry if anybody took it the wrong way, as in big book and big book. So, I was not intended to be that way. Play on words. But, that was the video. I want to thank you for tuning in. Sorry it was a long one, but it's been a while since we've done a video, so. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. Write in the comment, tell me what was your favorite pool out of this. Mine, uh, I'll give you the top, Beetle Billy, the V, had to be at least in the top two. This was a hidden one because I didn't see that one. Damn, that was a good one. Um, and the... The big book. I mean, pff. those were mine. So, yeah. But thanks for tuning in. Like I said, uh, leave me a comment. What was your favorite? Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Uh, starting hopefully tonight or by tomorrow, I will have post up on Instagram about uh, selling some books. If you're interested, just hit claim on the sale. I will have all the instructions hopefully on there. And uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully I will have a video within a week or two. Uh, I'll have to find something to unbox first. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.